Hey there guys, what's going on? It's John from JTB Metal 123 here. Just wanting to talk to you guys really quick. We're gonna do a review on King Diamond's studio album record called The Graveyard. Um, let me give you some facts really quick. It was released um, September 30th, 1996. They recorded it through March um, till May um, 1996. Um, it's a little over an hour. It's 61 minutes. Um, and the label is not Roadrunner. It's not Metal Blade. It's actually Massacre Records, which is pretty cool if you ask me. Um, producer, obviously, King Diamond, as we all know. Um, this one, actually the lineup is still the same. Darren Anthony on drums, Chris Estes on bass, Herbert Simonson on guitars, Andy LaRock on guitars, King Diamond on vocals, as we all know. Um, sorry, this one definitely has a really cool plot, a whole concept story. I'm not going to go through it. It's just a lot to read. It's a lot to understand. Google is a thing. If you really want to know, you can look up the Wikipedia if you want. It tells it pretty well, but um, I'm not going to go through it here because, you know, it's just, if I had to rate the concept, it's actually really, really cool, you know, Lucy Forever type of shit, it's dope, it's cool, but, um, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole thing, um, I'm here to talk about the music and the record, but one thing about the graveyard, though, that stands out is, um, first of all, the Almar is, is super cool. Um, the Alamar is just definitely really, really cool here. You know, it's just dark, it's purple, it's got the cross, you know, King Diamond, the graveyard, you know. It's just, it's something really, really cool. Um, you know, cool opening on um, The Waiting. Uh, definitely, definitely, definitely cool, um, you know, great, just a great opener. Um, you know, and um, on this one, I, I kind of felt like they, they slowed down the riffs. I kind of, you know, I kind of feel like they just slowed it down a little bit. You know, they kind of just made it a little bit more heavier. You know, not when it's fast. Um, but Lucy Forever to end it off with, amazing. You know, um, has a really, really cool solo to it. Um, I was really, really digging that as an, as an ending song. Um, this one's just so dope, though. Um, I'm definitely digging it. Um, if you're going to want to check it out, um, definitely want to check out songs. Um, you know, the graveyard kind of gives it like a little spooky feeling, but Black Hill Sanitarium, amazing. Um, Heads on the Wall, really, really good. Daddy, Trick or Treat, Up From the Grave, and Lucy Forever. Those are the highlights of this record. The rest of them are kind of just, eh. You know, if I, you know, so I'm going to rate this one at, uh, I'm gonna give it a seven. I'm gonna give it, a, you know, average. It wasn't the best record. It wasn't, you know, it's it's just not Abigail. It's just not living up to that Abigail standard. But, however, it's still the graveyard. It's still a classic record to me. Hardcore King Diamond fan here, but I have to put this one as a seven. It's just it does not live up to what I thought it was gonna be, unfortunately. But I still love it. King Diamond's still amazing. Andy LaRock just killing it so gotta love it so that's what it's gonna get the graveyard by king diamond it's definitely going to get a 7.0 out of 10 so my name is john and i will see you guys on the next review peace out see you later and see you on the next one